top six best Samsung phones in 2023. Hello guys, today in this video, we are going to help you to find out the best Samsung phones in market. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their quality, durability, customer review, and more. If you wanna see their price and find out more information about them, you can check our links in the description below. And like, comment, share this video, subscribe our channel. Thank you. Number six, Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. The Galaxy S23 Ultra comes with a large 6.8 inch ANL LED display, a beefy 5000 mAh battery that can last you as long as two days, a customized Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy processor to keep things running efficiently, and the sacred Samsung S Pen, ideal for jotting down notes, graphics designing, or even signing PDFs. I tested the Galaxy S23 Ultra earlier this year and called it one of the most complete handsets you can buy this year. Whether you like and need the excessive amount of features or not, being the latest and greatest also means that the S23 Ultra comes equipped with Samsung's newest advancements in camera technology, including a 200 megapixel main lens that's capable of capturing the highest resolution images we've seen on any Galaxy phone. There's also 8K video recording at 30 frames per second, if you're into that. All this is to say that the Galaxy S23 Ultra is our pick for the best Samsung phone overall. It's the classic TikTok strategy with Samsung, keeping its changes iterative to save on costs, research and development, and much more at a microeconomic scale, while you still get a phone that scratches that consumer itch. One of the best phones available at that. The S23 Ultra retains the best design traits of its predecessor, like the charmingly bright 6.8 inch AMOLED display that beats the outdoor sunlight and the boxy and presumptuous form factor that makes it just as much of a Galaxy Note as a Galaxy Ultra, all while moving away from some bad habits like the overly curved edges that made writing with an S Pen inharmonious on the S22 Ultra. Number five, Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5. The 2020 Galaxy Z Fold 2 set the bar for foldable devices that also serve as mini tablets, the Z Fold 3 improved on that phone with two of the most highly requested features from Fold users, S Pen support and IPX8 water resistance, while the Z Fold 4 improved the rear cameras and form factor of the phone. And now, with the Z Fold 5, you'll get an upgraded processor in a Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, which should improve the phone's overall performance from battery efficiency to camera capture. This year's model is also notably thinner than the last, and thanks to the no-gap hinge mechanism, ZDNET's Jason Heiner said in his review that the Fold 5 feels like the way foldables always should have been. The Android 13 software found in the Z Fold 5 gives the phone some serious productivity upgrades, especially in terms of multi-app usage thanks to the improved taskbar and wider support for gesture navigations that ease the transition from multiple active windows. Like the Z Fold 4, the Fold 5's cameras are not quite as good as the S23 Ultra's suite, but the hardware is clearly superior to any foldable predecessor in a competition, and it certainly helps that the Z Fold 5 is not as heavy and bulky as its predecessors. Number four, Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5. While the Z Fold 5 is the best Samsung foldable, it's the new Z Flip 5 that will likely sell the most and appeal to the masses. Not only is the clamshell handset less expensive than the Z Fold, but it's more compact and portable and has a more user-friendly learning curve. Shape-shifting displays aside, the Z Flip 5 is very similar to the standard Samsung Galaxy S series flagship with a large 6.7-inch ANL LED panel that's crisp and bright, up to 512 gigabytes of RAM for those high-resolution pictures and videos, and a healthy 3,700 MOS cell powering in all. I tested the flip phone for weeks and was left impressed by how many refinements Samsung had made when compared to the last-gen Z Flip. Thanks to the new 3.4-inch outer display, the gapless hinge design and improved durability, I noted in my full review that unless Samsung unveils some form of XR headset later this year, the Z Flip 5 is without question the company's most ambitious product of 2023. Folks who thrive in social media and content creation especially will love the Z Flip 5's ability to switch between shooting styles like camcorder mode and flex mode. Much like its predecessor, the Z Flip 4, the camera system on this is not on the level of Samsung's Ultra and Plus phones, but it's reliable enough for everyday captures. A bigger, bolder, and brighter external display headlines the Z Flip 5's list of notable upgrades. But it is also in the areas where Samsung chose to refine more than define that make the Samsung's Galaxy Z Flip 5 still the best foldable phone for most people. Number three, Samsung Galaxy A54 5G. 
While the flagship Galaxy S and Z Fold series provide compelling options, their flagship phones priced in the $900 and higher range. In order to offer customers another alternative, Samsung created the Galaxy S series, led by none other than the A54 5G. There are really three key reasons why you should buy the Galaxy A54 5G over any other sub $500 phone. For $449, you get a fantastic 6.4-inch AMOLED display that ramps up to 120 Hz refresh rate, a triple camera setup that includes a 50MP main sensor, and a beefy 5000 mAh battery. Clearly, Samsung knows what features users value the most, and if you have preferences beyond that list, then there are plenty of other picks above and below. The A-series of smartphones also fall under Samsung's five-year commitment to software and security updates, which is rare for devices in this price range. As I put it in my review of the device, this $450 phone absolutely nails the essentials. Things like a large display that feels as smooth as it looks, battery life that lasts, and software stability that similarly priced phones simply can't match. Case in point, I'm expecting a similar tale with the new Galaxy A54 5G, a $450 phone that absolutely nails the essentials. Things like a large display that feels as smooth as it looks, battery life that lasts, and software stability that similarly priced phones simply can't match. It's a well-balanced package, and it's the phone that I recommend to most people right now. Number two, Samsung Galaxy Xcover 6 Pro. Samsung released the Galaxy Xcover 6 Pro last September and it remains the best rugged option from the Korean giant. In fact, it's one of the only rugged smartphones that support 5G connectivity, making the Xcover 6 Pro a top prospect for industrial and enterprise users work in hazardous environments, says CounterPoint Research. By the numbers, the Xcover 6 Pro is MILSTD 810H compliant, meaning it has undergone a series of military-level tests for durability and protection. The device is also rated IP68, allowing it to withstand a complete submersion below one meter for as long as 30 minutes. The dual cameras at the rear, a 50 MP wide and 8 MP ultra wide, are passable, but you're mainly paying for the ruggedness of the phone and nothing more. Fortunately, Samsung does bundle it with a Snapdragon 778G processor and a dependable 6.6 inch display that's covered in a scratch resistant Gorilla Glass Victus Plus. While you can spend extra money wrapping your expensive flagship phone in a rugged case, you are still risking a valuable asset. Samsung makes tough, light, and purposefully engineered products for field work, and Friday announced its latest smartphone and tablet designed to help you get work done outside the office. The Galaxy Xcover 6 Pro is the latest smartphone from Samsung that is built for frontline workers. In the past, it was common to see mid-range specifications in phones built for work use, so it is refreshing to see Samsung release a phone that is built for the modern worker with a promise of four Android OS updates. Number one, Samsung Galaxy A14 5G. The flashiest of smartphone features tend to exist only on flagships, but many will find appeal in Samsung's humble Galaxy A14 5G, which boasts 5G connectivity, a massive 5,000 mAh battery, and a budget-friendly $200 price tag. That's a compelling new package at a time when consumers are cutting down on spending. And don't let the lower cost fool you. The Galaxy A14 5G has all the specs you'd want for a feasible mobile companion from the relatively large 6.6-inch 90 Hz display, a rarity in this price range, to the expandable storage up to one TV, to Samsung's four-year commitment to security patches. Oh, and the front-facing camera is higher resolution than ever for the selfie lover in your life. I spent time with the A15 5G just a week ago as my partner was upgrading her to the Z Flip 5 mentioned above. The phone won't feel like a million dollars for one, but it was surprisingly sturdy to hold. Devices in this price range tend to feel more hollow and toy-like, and the 90 Hz display looked great for app browsing and navigating around. Announced at CES 2023 and at a cost of $199.99, the Samsung Galaxy A14 5G cost $50 less at launch than the previous model. The Galaxy A13 5G, but also comes with a new camera and a slightly bigger screen. The addition of a high raised 13 megapixel front-facing camera is an improvement offering better picture quality than the previous model, alongside the triple lens rear camera. This is the top six best Samsung phones in 2023. Please make sure to subscribe our channel for these kind of information. Thanks for watching.